Hey everybody, it's Conrad here from 8DO, and today we're going to take a look at our newly overhauled Bongo and Cajon library. So let's jump right into this. So first off, we're going to look at the bongos. So we sampled four different bongos. Let's go ahead and take a listen to each one. I'm going to try to become a percussion player on the keyboard here. Now, I also want to point out the dynamic range of this library. So a huge dynamic range there, great for small subtle sounds and big in-your-face sounds. So now let's move on. We got two cajones here as well as two cajone snares. Let's go ahead and listen to those. And then we also recorded three different ensembles. Bongo Ensemble. Which I absolutely love that sound. Cajon Ensemble. And then a combination ensemble of the bongos and the cajones. <laughs> absolutely gigantic sound there. So now actually, speaking of ensembles, let's move on to some of our new features. Let's first off start with our link button here. So this link button actually lets us choose multiple articulations or instruments at the same time. So say that bongo ensemble is maybe a little too big for you. You can instead hit bongos one and maybe bongos three to make a two person bongo ensemble. Maybe add bongo four in as well just to make it a three person bongo ensemble. And maybe we want to add one of the cajon snare articulations. The leak button gives us the ability to basically create our own ensembles. We can make an eight-person bongo ensemble. <laughs> Just make the sound as big as you want to. Now, one of the other things we actually have is this A-B feature. So let me go ahead and link two of them together. And we're going to go ahead and hit the cajon. We're going to switch that to B. Now that will come into play just a little bit later, because first we're going to talk about this little control panel right here. So we have six different controls here. We have panorama, which controls our width and our pan, amp envelope to change our decay and attack times, pitch envelope, filter envelope, tone control, so you can just further shape the sound, and drive control, add a little bit of grit. So actually, let me go ahead and hit randomize on these and we can listen to some of the effects you can get from it. And I'll go ahead and hit the reset button there, but you could hear just by hitting randomize, we get a ton of different sounds out of just one articulation. Some of them very subtle, some of them really out there and cool. And now going back to the AB function, we have independent controls for whatever instruments you have selected for B. So for instance, I will pan the cajon to the right and I will pan the bongo to the left. And of course we can have a bit of fun here and randomize each one. So a ton of fun you can have there. And also with the AB, you have an AB mix right here. So if I want a little bit more of that bongo, which we have on A, 
and tilt it over towards A. Or if we want a little bit more of B, the cajon, I can move it over to B. Now we have also included some LFOs. We have an LFO for the filter and we actually have an AB LFO. If I go ahead and turn that on and I actually play a little bit, you're gonna see it shift from A up to B and back down to A. So remember A is a bongo sound, B is a cajon sound. So you could hear it starting to shift over to that cajon sound. Now with these LFOs, we can also change the rate by clicking this little arrow right here. Also included, we have our effects section with a filter, gate, pitch, delay, compressor, and form convolution. You can also control these a bit further by going to our chaos effects page in the back. And then we have also included an equalizer. So with that, we're gonna listen to this library in the context of an entire piece, and you're gonna hear it being used in a more subtle context as well as an in-your-face sound. So be sure to jump over to 8do.com, check out the bongo and cajon for yourself. Thank you. 